Don't sleep north and south because those changes are not entirely good for you. Till just above your ankle, put your feet inside and close it and sit there thirty, forty minutes. If you do that, those of you suffering from allergies, it will just vanish. If you're not aware of this, we are living on a magnet. Planet is a magnet, you know <laughs> It has a north pole and a south pole. And we are living on a magnet. But somebody is selling you a little magnet that you can wear on your wrist and it's going to change your life. I'm saying, you live on this magnet, why do you need another one? This is a begin of magnet and it has enough influence. And the very body that you carry is a part of this magnet and it's a magnet by itself. Well, many people may not be functioning as a magnet, they may be opposite poles with everybody else around them <laughs> or same poles and <laughs> repelling everything rather. So, commercial forces say many things. If you wear a magnet on your body, it may show some changes in the parameters of your physiological phenomena, but it doesn't mean anything. If you go and stand to… stand next to an electrical transmitter, you will… S you can measure changes in your body. If you go stand next to a tree, you can actually measure changes in your physiology. If you stand up, your body or the physiological parameters function one way. If you just lie down on the earth, it will happen in a different way. Knowing this only, we told you don't sleep north and south because those changes are not entirely good for you. So should I wear a magnet? Not necessarily, it may make some changes. Do not uh, understand human physiology in such a simplistic way. Oh, blood pressure has dropped five points, so I'm doing better. That's not how the human physiology works. It's far more complex than that. I would say there are tantric practices with which we can align you well to the part of the world in which you live. These things… these things can be done, but that would again be relevant when there were times when people never moved more than uh, maybe ten miles more than where they live because people only walked. They never really transported themselves very far from one place. So at that time, body would naturally get aligned to the planet in a, partic in a particular way, depending upon the coordinates at which you are. But today we're all flying around here, there. If I make you very aligned to eleven degrees here at Velangiri, and tomorrow morning you fly to another place, another place, uh, you must have the knowledge and the capability to realign your body, otherwise body will get freaked in so many different ways. So, I would say if you get more involved with a big plow, big magnet that all of us are living on and all of us are made of, it would bring much more benefit than wearing tiny magnets on your wrist and all you may get is iron filings in the end <laughs> So you, what you can do in the morning is, after you finish your Shambhavi, dig a hole in your backyard, <clears throat> not for… not big enough for you, just two feet and uh, just up till… just above your ankle, put your feet inside and close it and sit there thirty, forty minutes, Simply, 
stuck in the earth. Your body will align itself to the larger magnet and you will not have to carry magnets on your wrists or your ankles. Instead of buying that magnet, you can dig a hole which is two feet deep and put your feet and close it. Your system will align to the larger magnet very well. And uh, there are many things attached to this, many, many things. Uh, you have heard of Indian yogis being buried right up till here in neck. That's what I was about to suggest, but I know you wouldn't do it, so that's why I said the feet. So, just... Uh, Feet buried, if it really works for you, then you can try up to your neck. It works very well. Otherwise, people are trying a simpler, more cosmetic approach. They're having a mud bath. <laughs> They're supposed to be buried in the earth, but uh, the watered-down version of being buried up to your neck is mud bath. You can try any one of them, but feet, is easy to do. If you do that, you will see in terms of health at least, you will notice those of you suffering from allergies. Allergy means somehow you don't like this planet. Something within you is not in rapport with what is life here, the life-making material on this planet you're becoming a little bit of an alien. That's what allergy means in a very fundamental way. So if you attune yourself to the ways of the planet, it will just vanish. So try the feet, if it works, go a little deeper. It'll work. <laughs>